Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the words and the language we use every day. If you're into language and history, subscribe, and make sure you click that little bell so you never miss a word. Today's word is one that's becoming more and more important to our culture and pretty much every part of modern life. And there's a lot more to it than just pictures with text over it. Meme. Noun. A piece of culture that is transmitted from mind to mind like a virus and repeated by more people as it grows. Sometimes it's used by normies to refer to a picture with text over it. History and etymology. Mimima. A Greek word whose root mimenstai meant to imitate and spawned words like mime, mimic, memento, and mimeograph. It was the word mimima that Richard Dawkins chose to use when he created a new word to describe a piece of culture that replicates like a gene. Here it is in his own words. We need a name for the new replicator, a noun that conveys the idea of a unit of culture transmission or a unit of imitation. Mimima comes from a suitable Greek root, but I want a monosyllable that sounds a bit like gene. I hope my classicist friends will forgive me if I abbreviate Mimima to meme. If it is any consolation, it could alternatively be thought of as being related to memory or to the French word meme. It should be pronounced to rhyme with cream. Richard Dawkins, The Selfish Gene, 1976. What the idea of a meme is meant to describe is how some behaviors that do not benefit biological life forms, but actually harm it, can continue to be practiced. These activities could be as drastic as martyrdom or as innocuous as swapping a tooth placed under a child's pillow for money. These are cultural ideas and behaviors that have withstood the test of time. They are memes. What people generally associate with the word meme is what's called an image macro, a picture with a text placed over it to be either humorous or funny. Some people might be pedantic about the difference, but these image macros still fit the definition of a meme, and I believe they still deserve the moniker of meme. Because even on their relatively small scale, they are traveling, replicating, dying, and evolving over time, just like memes or genes. That shouldn't diminish the power behind the idea of memes in general as a concept. It's a brilliant way that it, to explain many things and provide an avenue for research into the future regarding our culture and how it grows and changes. Prescription and commentary. It's my opinion that the concept of memes is one of the most important ever developed to describe how culture works. How we communicate complex ideas quickly and how ideas grow and survive. Memes are much older than the photos with text on them. Santa Claus is a meme. He's a piece of culture that has spread from person to person changing and growing like genes in a living creature. The, tra the traditions associated with Santa change, making his meme stronger and more powerful. It's adapting to survive. And when I say the, that Santa Claus meme is powerful, I mean very powerful. This meme has the power to destroy economies. If people didn't take action to make this meme real, it would collapse the biggest shopping season of the year. Santa may not be real physically, but he certainly exists as a force over people causing them to behave as if he does exist and they do his bidding, placing gifts and socks and under trees. But it's a part of culture that persists. 
it is powerful. Memes are also used for speedy communication of complex ideas. When you see this image, you immediately know it's describing a confusion about what something really is. Or this, a type of cognitive dissonance. Or even this one, when you already have something good and you're looking at something else. All of these express much more than these simple statements I've made here and can be applied to many situations. When these memes spread, it makes complex communication of ideas, emotions, and, I and things easier. And when someone invokes the meme that the left can't meme, this is the type of meme they're referring to, they're talking about, is these memes of communication. And yes, these memes of communication do seem to evade the abilities of your average leftist meme farmer, usually relying too heavily on large blocks of text and not enough on the inbuilt meanings behind these images. On the other hand, I don't think the left can't meme is entirely true. That first type of meme I talked about, the Santa Claus level meme, is something I think the left actually excels at. Socialism is a meme. Social justice and feminism are memes, and they are powerful memes. They've gotten into the minds of normies all over the world. They all cause the people infected with these memes to act in ways that reinforce them. Just like putting presents under a tree, socialism causes people to vote in certain ways and behave in certain ways by expecting the government to fill certain roles that it really shouldn't be filling. The large Santa Claus type memes on the right are smaller or are so big that they seem to somehow encompass even the left's memes. Freedom, upon first look, doesn't necessarily rule out socialism, at least what most of socialism's followers believe it is. And the idea of small government is just that, it's small. There's no behaviors around it to replicate or to move forward with. It's just something that's difficult to become a meme on the level of socialism. People don't want to hear what the government shouldn't be able to do for them. They want to know what it can do for them, what it can give them, what it can give them for free. What it can force people they disagree with to do. That's what they want to hear. This is part of the reason the right has an uphill battle on its hands for the hearts and minds of people. There's a lot more that can be said about memes, but I really just wanted to open up the conversation to expand what people's concept of a meme could be and what it can do. So, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or you feel you've learned something, please leave a like. And if you think someone else out there could learn from this video, be sure to share it with your friends. Again, subscribe if you enjoy history and language, and click the little bell so you never miss a word. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's some links in the description to my website where you can, where there's many options to do so. And until next time, Keep on learning.